is Catherine Gobey here, certified pediatric sleep consultant and founder of Cloud9 Sleep Consulting. And we are back for day seven of our Sleep Refresh 2021 challenge. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a gratitude practice before bed. And this is something that applies really from a young age all the way up. Um, using gratitude before bed is a great way to kind of slow any anxious thoughts before bed, to put you in a good frame of mind for drifting off to sleep. And um, it can be really simple to, to implement. So for younger kids, we might need to help them find things to be grateful for during the day. So I love just pointing things out. If you go for a walk with your kiddos, you can point out, oh, the sun is so warm on my face this morning. I love how that feels. Um, if you eat a really yummy bowl of ice cream after dinner, you can say, oh, this ice cream is so delicious. I am so grateful that we get to eat this. Kind of point it out during the day. And then you can just spend a minute or two before bed at night kind of recapping those things. Like, what were you grateful for today? Oh, remember when we went for that walk and the sun felt so good on our faces? And remember when we ate that ice cream and it was so delicious and we're so thankful for all those things. And so it's a really easy practice to kind of implement. And if you start it when they're really little, um, it's something that they'll just always grow up looking for. Um, they'll look for things to be grateful for, which is such a gift that we can give to our little ones. Um, if you're an adult, then I encourage you to do the same thing. Spend time as you go through your day thinking about things that occur, um, things that are maybe out of the box, right? Like we're all grateful for our families or for our homes or things like that, but really spend time thinking about some of the more intricate things that you might be grateful for that you might just otherwise miss, like a really warm, creamy cup of hot coffee first thing in the morning. That first sip is so delicious. Or um, maybe it's the smell of lavender because it reminds you of your grandma's hand soap when you were growing up or things like that. Um, it doesn't have to be these huge things. It can be little tiny things. That's what we're after. So you're homework for today is to look for things to be grateful for. Um, just go through your day and make a mental note of it. And then before you go to bed, recount those things to yourself. Um, an attitude of gratitude is an amazing and transformative thing. Um, and so I really hope that you guys will try this out today. I'm rooting for you.